Hi everyone, it's Strawberry Hui, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about not being Strawberry Hui anymore. So let me just start by saying that I have always loved this channel. I always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I didn't really know my niche. Um, I like to do art and I liked art videos, but I didn't feel like I was good enough at drawing to make successful art videos. Um, I liked vlogs, but I didn't feel like my life was that interesting. And so when I started bullet journaling and I got really into K-pop and then therefore K-pop journaling, I thought like, this is perfect. This is my niche. I got a new phone that I could take good videos on. And I was like, this is it. I'm going to start my channel. I know that everybody says this and that I'm still a really, really small channel, especially compared to a lot, um, but I really did not expect people to watch or subscribe to my videos. I figured that most of my views were gonna be from family and friends and maybe some of my mutuals on my Stan Twitter account, but I really did not expect people to watch them. And really that was okay. I mean, obviously I hoped that people would watch them and I had like hope that people would appreciate my hard work that I put into them, but I really just wanted to do it. I wanted to make the videos. I feel like on some of my first few videos, like most of the views were me <laughs> because I just really enjoyed going back and watching my own videos. Like I just liked making them that much. So I was completely over the moon when I was able to get monetized, when I surpassed 2000 followers, which again, to some people is like nothing. But to me, it was really important to me and I'm honestly really proud of it. However, um, I started to get like a lot more busy in my personal life. And because of that, I started to feel pressure to make videos. I started getting overwhelmed with work and just, you know, like I said, my Etsy shop, my personal life in general. And it was getting to the point that I wasn't journaling anymore because I felt like if I was going to journal, I needed to film a video. And just the thought of like setting up, you know, all the stuff to film and then having to edit it and put it up and everything was just too much. And then I just wouldn't journal at all. In the last year, I have started really embracing the love that I have for Disney and Disney parks and like, yeah, yeah, I know. Disney adult and a K-pop stan, like pick a struggle. I get it, okay? But I started posting Disney things on my Instagram and I actually started a Disney TikTok account, which I called Magically Kara. Overall, I had a lot of fun making videos on there and, you know, being involved in that community. It was so much fun and I was enjoying it and TikTok videos were like quick and easy that I could film. But deep down, I really missed journaling and I missed the journaling community. So I pondered for a while over what I wanted to do with this channel. If I wanted to abandon it completely, if I wanted to change it up a little bit, or if I wanted to just leave it as it was and continue to make the videos I was already making and just try to make more of an effort to do that. I immediately decided that Abandoning this channel was not an option. I did not want to do that. I love this channel and I like making videos and I didn't want to abandon it. But I also didn't think that I could continue with this channel the way that it always was. Like it, it needed to be changed for me to enjoy making the videos again. So that is why I have decided to rebrand this channel to Magically Kara. Don't freak out. I'm not going to be getting rid of journaling. Maybe nobody's freaking out. Maybe nobody's even watching this or even cares. But I will continue to make journaling videos. I will also just be adding more vlogs, maybe some Disney content, maybe some reading content, um, maybe just some general K-pop content, which I was already kind of doing with my concert vlogs. I have several concert vlogs coming up this summer. I also kind of want to try scrapbooking videos, maybe, which are very similar to bullet journaling. The only thing is I may change up the format of the videos slightly. So for example, instead of just filming like a sped up journaling video, just all from the top, um, it might be more of a vlog style or more of like a process video with some speed journaling in it, but also like me talking about what I'm doing or like, you know, showing it from different angles, things like that. But I will not be giving up journaling and I'm not giving up journaling videos, I swear. I'm also not completely transitioning into Disney stuff. I want it to be a pretty split, you know, evenly of all the things that I like and all of the things that I want to post about. And maybe sometimes those things can even be merged into one. For example, I will be posting a vlog of my best friend coming to visit me and we both are BTS ARMY and like K-pop and we also both are really into Disney. 
So in within the vlog and the things that we're doing, we'll definitely be referencing both. Some other things to look forward to this summer is that I'm actually going to be going to the TXT concert and I will also be going to the Dreamcatcher concert and I will also be going to Lollapalooza to see Hobie. So I will definitely be doing vlogs of all of those things. So those are some videos to look forward to. Also, since BTS just had a comeback and Dreamcatcher just had a comeback not that long ago and Pentagon just had a comeback not that long ago and... TXT also, like several groups that I really like, Nyan from Twice is about to have a comeback. So I have lots of things that I want to journal about. So I definitely have some journaling videos coming. I have several vlogs coming and I'm really excited to share all of those things with you guys. Overall, I have a lot planned for the future of this channel and I really, really hope that you guys are excited. I will not be getting rid of any videos that are already on the channel. I am just going to be adding things to this channel. So let me know what you guys think. Are you excited to see some other things from me? Maybe some different types of videos. Are you excited that I'm going to be posting regularly again? Again, maybe everyone has already abandoned this channel and nobody cares anymore and I'm just starting over, which is also fine. But I really miss making videos and I'm really, really excited to start that up again. So you can follow me on Instagram at MagicallyKara. I won't be posting on my Strawberry Wheat Instagram anymore, although I will be keeping it up. I also won't be posting on my Strawberry Wheat TikTok anymore. It's now private, but you can follow me on Magically Kara on TikTok and I will be starting to post journaling videos or scrapbooking videos on that TikTok account as well. And you can follow me on Magically Kara on Twitter, but the L's in Magically are actually two capital I's. So that's where you can find me on Twitter. Um, I don't really share my stand Twitter. It's kind of more personal. <laughs> but I'm sure that some of you know me from there. I will also be rebranding my Etsy shop soon, but for now it's still Strawberry Hui. I have a lot of work that I wanna do um, and put into my Etsy shop to make it like better. Um, so that will take me some time. So for now it's still Strawberry Hui. I'll let you guys know when it's up and when I have some new things up in addition to the old things. So yeah, I hope that you guys will continue to support this channel. I'm really excited for the future of it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.